Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. What is Capricorn dealing with coming into the reading of courtship? Very nice. All right, so boyfriend and girlfriend, dating exclusively. Um, this is home base for you. Even if there are other people you text or you look at online, this is your relationship. This is who you're with. So courtship is happening here for you. Um, it, it could have a lot of promise. It could go to marriage. Um, you guys like each other. Um, it's going well. Let's see. Um, you guys are laying roots with one another, okay? You, you know, you get, get in the relationship rooted and grounded in something more than just we like each other. So that's good. All right. Clarify courtship. Concern. All right. But somebody's deeply pessimistic about the... Um, uh, the traje the trajectory of the relationship, like where's it going? Like, I don't know. It's like almost they're in some like depressive state. Like, they're just not being optimistic about uh, the possibilities. Uh, they're thinking, overthinking. Um, they could be stagnating the relationship. Um, yeah, you guys got some big plans or wishes that you want to, you know, um see coming to fruition together but somebody is energetically or maybe even um you know uh physically just holding the relationship up or holding it back or there is um somebody feels like somebody is out of control or it's going too fast or i don't know very interesting energy um i don't you could be dealing with someone who has um Mental disorder, diagnosed or undiagnosed. I don't want to that first. Um, yeah, you could be dealing with someone who is just um, in, in deep concern about this. Something happened. There's no harmony. There's no peace. Maybe in their mind. They, they overthink and they just just go over stuff over and over again um deeply pessimistic um no confidence or lack of confidence maybe even a self-esteem issue how is capricorn coming to the reading all right how is capricorn coming to the reading how is capricorn coming to the all right capricorn is coming to the reading um either wanting family or having a family here um concerned about family um wanting to again lay roots have bonds have a bond or a tie to hmm or capricorn is uh wanting their family back okay um so there could be a masculine energy who is in connection with someone else but he might want his family back He's deeply pessimistic about what this person really wants from him. Um, somebody could be, you know, overthinking everything, um, becoming paranoid in their thoughts. Let me see. How is Capricorn coming to the reader? Money. I just said it. Family money. Got to pay money. Um, Capricorn, you could be in court or needing to go through some type of litigation in terms of how much money you have to pay your family or you have to pay out um it's causing you a lot of concern um in terms of your future and what it looks like monetarily for you um this kept coming out wallflower somebody's not even engaging in life not getting dressed up not going out not talking not just you know being the wallflower just letting life pass them by um disengaging for whatever reason and it might be due to maybe someone someone is deeply depressed saddened by something um let's see what 
does your person want to tell you? Let's see what is going on in this relationship. Somebody wants a family. Somebody feels like somebody's out for their money. Somebody's going to spend money on the, the ex family. Uh, someone is just paranoid altogether. Alright, so let's see. What's going on with Capricorn? These cards are so hard to show. Alright. All right, instant manifestation wanted to come out. So you may be seeing 11, 11. Um, what you're thinking about will manifest for you. Make sure your thoughts are positive um, because it's almost like you're instantly manifesting whatever it is you, um, you're thinking of. It. This wanted to come out. Don't worry about fixing me, fix you. So somebody said, look, I know I'm a mess, a jacked up ass mess, but don't worry about fixing me, fix you. You know, something wrong with you too. Um, let's see. Someone's saying, if you love me, show it. Again, someone's deeply paranoid about if some someone's devotion. You know, what what is or yeah, their devotion and their mo motivation. You know, um, why do you want to be with me? What are you devoted to? You devoted to getting my money, my resources. What is this about? You know, deeply paranoid. Um, if you love me, show it. Um, let's see. Okay, women fall in love in the presence of, and men fall in love in the absence of. So it's like, again, some of my men here, you're missing your family, you're without your family, you're in some courtship with another person, but it's not like home, it's not like family. And you may be falling in love again with the idea of being back with that uh, particular person and just being with your family okay because uh, in the absence of men start to have the emotions in the presence of women women fall in love with the everyday men fall in love or they know that they're in love by way of withdrawing and having those emotions those feelings that come up okay all right, so um, let's see. Yeah, master manipulator. I will turn the situation around on you. Somebody is just not doing well mentally right now. And I keep saying it. Look, someone says, I understand that you don't want a relationship. You want an idea of having a relationship. So it's like somebody said, you want me for my money. Or you like the idea. You like the, the publicity of having a relationship. You love that. But you don't want a real relationship. Um very interesting what's the conclusion of this relationship what's the conclusion of this relationship um, somebody's a master manipulator um they listen very well only to use against you only to pick apart what you're saying um somebody listens very well um to gather information knowledge um put your stuff out there before anybody else can um, don't let anybody spray you with your own shit. You know, put it out there before them. Uh, let's see. Somebody is a master manipulator. It's like they they, they sit and they think of, of ways to just manipulate and um, kind of toy with and, and move around, move parts around. I don't know. This is, this is beyond me now. It's above me. Um... Let's see what's going on. What's the conclusion of this connection? What do you need to release? Waning moon. Okay, so somebody needs to release something. Most likely it's fear. Because there's a lot of fear-based thoughts, lack. Release fear, okay? Um, when you Once you release that fear, you can do anything. You can say anything. You can go anywhere. I mean, you just are you. You come up authentic in everything, in every way. Um, take part in the banishing ritual. In my new moon uh, ritual happening on the Lionsgate 8-8 portal. Um, where we will release some things. Whatever you need to release, come to the new moon session. The link is below. Alright. Let's see. 
All right, what's the conclusion? You might need to release this person too. All right, let's see. What is the conclusion? Hold your vision. Fixed moon. So some of you could be dealing with fixed signs. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Hold your vision here. Don't just don't be moved. You know, don't be easily swayed. If this is what you want, if this is what you see for yourself, vision is being able to come out of the present, um, travel in your mind, in your heart, to the future, see what it is you want in the future, come back to the present and start to um, take action on your vision, on what you saw for yourself and your future projection. So whatever you see for yourself, um, hold that vision. Don't let anybody mess with it or try to distort it or move it around for you. Or, or, and don't do that to anybody else, okay? All right, let's see. Uh, conclusion of this relationship. Okay, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn, so maybe a full moon in your sign. But that'll be what, around December? I don't know when it'll be. Uh, I don't want to lie. Um, a tough cycle approaches, okay? A t the end of a tough cycle approaches. Um, so this was a cycle. It was cyclical. It was coming in your life for a reason for you to learn a lesson. Close the door. You don't close the door. You keep going through the cycle, right? You keep going through the same thing. The cycle or the circle of insanity. Do something different. Engage differently. Show up authentically. Release fear. Release the negative thoughts. Move forward. Okay? Because the end of a tough cycle is approaching only if you allow it to end. You close the door. You hold the key. Okay? Um, spirit, God, angels, they're only there to assist you. And if you look like you ain't moving then there's nothing to assist. So make sure that you're moving, all right? Make sure that you're closing out. Make sure that you want to close out. Make sure that just, you're always striving for better. Not just better things, but better you, all right? So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, go over to the website, book there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link if you took something from the reading give some back buy me a coffee uh thank you capricorn many blessings to you bye